for Tetramodium Bicarinatum Walker has caught a rice weevil. The weevils are strong insects and so the Tetramodium Walker is trying to immobilize it by stinging its leg with its venomous sting. But just then two pharaoh ants appear and one of them begins spraying its venom at the Tetramodium Walker, forcing her to release the weevil and run away. The pharaoh ant then begin spraying his venom at other tetramorium walkers nearby. But just then a brave tetramorium walker suddenly leaps at the pharaoh ant and drags it to one corner. The tetramorium walker bites the pharaoh ant in its neck joint as if to strangle it and then it hurriedly drags away the pharaoh ant far away from there. The Tetramorium bicarinatum walker is badly mutilating the pharaoh ant walker. And not only she, even the other Tetramorium walkers are biting the pharaoh ant in great anger. This continues for a long time and soon not much life is left in the poor pharaoh ant walker. But despite this, the assault on the pharaoh ant walker still continues. Now why do these tetramorium walkers hate the pharaoh ants so much? Why are they biting the stinger of the pharaoh ants with so much hatred? Why? The reason for the hatred lies here. When a lone tetramorium walker is caught by a group of pharaoh ants, it too is killed mercilessly by them. The tetramorium bicarinatum ants have found a big egg yolk. Now the egg yolk is a great source of protein, so the tetramorium ants are guarding the egg yolk very carefully. They are blocking the way in from all directions. It looks like the enemies have no path left to sneak in to the great source of food. But just a few feet away, a pharaoh ant walker is climbing down the wall in a great hurry. But why is this pharaoh ant in such a hurry? It is because a great battle is going on between the pharaoh ants and the tetramodium ants near the egg yolk below. The tetramodium ants are bigger in size, but the pharaoh ants are greater in number. The tetramodium ants have stronger jaws but the pharaoh ants have deadly venomous spray. So the battle between these two swan enemies is going on in full force. And there is chaos and confusion everywhere. And slowly, the pharaoh ants have almost taken the control of the entire egg yolk. The base defenses of the tetramodium ants have been breached, and the base of the tetramodium warriors have been outmaneuvered. The laser tetramodium warriors are being chased away. So have the pharaoh ants won this battle? So have the tetramodium lost this fight? My experience is even though the Tetramorium bicarinatum looks down and out, it will be a mistake to count them out so soon. And just as I had thought, the Tetramorium ants soon regroup and begin marching towards the battlefield, killing every pharaoh ant that comes in their way. They begin to attack the pharaoh ants with great vengeance overpowering them and destroying them one by one. The pharaoh ants are trying to fight back desperately, but they are not being able to match the aggression and determination of the tetramorium ants. 
the pharaoh ants are being mortally wounded the tetramorium ants are winning back their lost ground and they have also secured their control over the precious egg yolk However, though the ground has been secured, there are still some pharaoh ants on the top of the egg yolk. But soon the tetramorium ants come charging up pots and starts attacking the pharaoh ants. Seeing the aggression of the tetramorium ants, the pharaoh ants begin to run away for their life, carrying away with them any small piece of food they can find. The pharaoh ant army has fallen back and whoever of them have been left behind are being mercilessly killed by the tetramorium ants. This has been such a great victory for the tetramorium ants and the pharaoh ants will not forget this defeat anytime soon. Having successfully defeated their sworn enemies, the tetramorium ants begin to feed on the nutritious egg yolk peacefully. But how long will this peace last? Peace, as they say, is just a momentary blink in the wild, wild world of ants.